Hey everyone, good evening. Hopefully you all will be fine. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about the second interview in Agoda, which is usually the platform interview for the full stack development. And uh, as I am not an uh, interviewer myself for the platform interview, so I have invited another interviewer who is interviewing at Agoda. He is a software engineer in Agoda for past three years. Uh, Mr. Hasnan, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Uh, today we want to talk about what is the interview process for the second interview more specifically, which is platform interview. Um, I want to know and of course the viewer wants to know that uh, what is the interview process, what kind of interview question will uh, are we asking in the interviews, what are our expectations, what is specifically our interviewer's expectations. So uh, thank you so much first of all for joining. Um, first of all, my question would be, what is a platform interview? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so, I'm going to start from here, like, uh, it's for mostly for front-end developers. So, this is a platform interview and mostly we cover the front-end topics. So, here, uh, basically, there are four fundamental uh, topics that we cover in this interview. So, we can uh, divide this interview into four parts. So, what are the four parts? Like, the first one is security-related things. Second one is a mostly web development concept, like front end, like if, if some if can, interviewer uh, interview has uh, more experience on the front end, so we ask uh, Angular, React related questions. If have a, like a full stack uh, experience, like front end, back end, so we cover some of the back end part, but mostly in the front end. And third and fourth is optimization and the testing. So these are four fundamental topics that we need to cover. And uh, what we expect from candidate, uh, candidate should have good communication skills and uh, some fundamental concepts of web development, how security work in web development and uh, like how candidate approach towards testing and optimization. So when you talk about the security thing, you said that the, the first topic that we uh, see in the platform interviews is about the security. Are we talking about the web security or are we talking about the overall security of the system like the PII data, PCIs or something like that? No, no. Uh, as a front-end developer, like actually uh, the full stack is mostly towards front-end developer in Agoda. Mm -hmm. So if someone is full stack developer, so 60 to 70 percent he has to work on a front-end and 20, 30 or maybe 40 percent on the back-end. So it's mean front-end security. For example, if candidate have experience like how HTTP requests starting from front-end, it goes to the server and get the response. How this flow works. So this is uh, mostly security thing. For right. example, uh, JWD token, how it moves with every request, how we secure on the front end, and uh, how we keep, like, uh, why we store somewhere, uh, like, normally uh, we store in the cookies, why we store in the cookies, and uh, with this uh, compared to the local storages, like, uh, there are several types of storages, so which one we pro uh, follow for security purpose and why. So these are mostly things that we cover. Okay, so this is a security per point of view. Uh, you mentioned the second thing was about the web basics. Uh, are we talking about the pure basics or it depends on the candidate's level? Well, it again depends. So mostly what we cover is like uh, web development is uh, like for example, candidate have more, more experience on the JavaScript, Angular, React. So we cover, for example, if I give you some example, if candidate have like four or five year experience on the front end on the React. So we can ask different questions related to Redux, uh, React hooks, why uh, Redux uh, and uh, context API. So what is the difference between and why we use and which one, which one to follow. Similarly, there are some coding examples, like uh, there are common questions that normally people ask uh, on the web, like uh, in the React when we use a loop, why, why not we use uh, index as a key on iterator or loop, something like that. So these are fundamental questions and uh, mostly related to the basics. And uh, you can say that easy to medium towards question. It's not uh, to uh, like a uh, high level question or uh, uh, tough question. So you're mentioning a lot of things about React. What if the candidate does not have the experience in React? Because I understand that Agoda is working mostly in React. What if the candidate is not having any experience in React? Should we, do we consider him as a good candidate for our full stack positions? Yeah, I just give you an example. Like uh, if candidate have experience in the React, but for example, uh, all these scenarios go with JavaScript. For example, candidate have a work on JavaScript and, and jQuery. So similarly, we ask questions related to JavaScript fundamentals and uh, some core JavaScript, uh, JavaScript concept. Similarly, if candidate have experience in the Angular or maybe Vue.js. So we ask similar kind of question 
but in that particular uh, framework. Okay, so you're saying that the basic concepts are the same, but it depends on what kind of can candidate have the experience in, what framework is the, he has the experience in, it's not very specific to React. It's not like uh, in platform interview, you are expecting a candidate to have a full-fledged React experience, is it? No, no. Actually, uh, when for Agoda especially, so we're not expecting anyone like if he got interviewed, so it's mean that he have fundamental exp uh, experience on any JavaScript library. So if he can work on any of the JavaScript li library, so he can work anywhere on uh, any framework, I think. I see. Okay. Uh, the third thing you mentioned is about uh, the design or the, if he is a full stack developer, we understand that we want to understand how the, he's handling the request between front end and back end. Can you elaborate more on this one? Well, uh, like the end to end flow. Okay. For example, uh, if the third part is like, uh, for example, if uh, he, need, he, he need to utilize the uh, APIs, so he should know that like how we make the request, how we get the response. So, but we are strictly talking about the front end side and we, are, we don't want anything to do with the back end side, yeah. right? We just wanting to understand if he, how is he using the APIs and everything, how is he using the end to end flow of the requests? Yes, exactly. I see, okay. Uh, next question is, what are we expecting in a candidate in a, in a platform interview? Are we also discussing about the front end components or we are only talking about the logics and everything? Well, it depends on the interviewers uh, mostly. This is a basically structure of the interview. So it's not about like uh, there's a, like some templates of questions and uh, we need to ask. No, it's not like that. So if I talk about the front end, so candidate can, uh, like uh, interviewer can ask any question to the candidate. And also, like uh, we see the resume, and if, uh, for example, candidate work on the Angular, and he mentioned that I work on RxJX library, or if he work on React, so he mentioned that I work on the micro front end or uh, Webpack or like anything relevant. So we can ask question relevant uh, to his experience. So we can understand like if he work on that particular project, so how much he have experience and how much he learn and how he implement the with, with the best practices. Okay. Uh, I would want to ask that, is there any specific set of questions that you are given to ask the interviewees? Uh, it's not a set of questions. It can change. For example, if I'm talking about the front end, sometimes I ask scenario based question that, uh, for example, uh, it, it happened oftenly, like uh, I ask candidate, okay, I have a scenario. We are going to build an e-commerce application or we are going to build some XYZ application. So whatever I asked, to you so you have to think in that perspective for example if i'm building some cart library for example so all the security related question all the web development question like uh, which framework to follow and why to follow based on my requirement what is my requirement we have a, a scenario like we are building cart library we are building e-commerce application so we can follow the uh, particular uh, example so is it more more related to the system design interview for the back end uh, I don't think so. What, what, what will you, how will you differentiate this platform interview between the system design interview? Well, system design where you have to focus a lot of other things. For example, end-to-end -end system, how front-end will behave, how your back-end middlewares and uh, database, everything you include. But here, uh, like let's divide into the four parts that I mentioned earlier. Like uh, first, security, like 10 to 15 minute question, uh, like how security like authorization authentication and how it works which one to follow why to follow where to uh, store authenticated uh, user like a token or something like that so if i move forward like uh, the platform it's purely related to the fundamental concept of particular framework uh, in example like i can say that either javascript uh, like uh, react angular something like that and third thing optimization how we optimize our score. For example, we got a scenario like our page is slow, our, uh, what you, your component is behaving slow. It's most related to the front end. And you can assume that API is responding uh, properly and there is no slowness on the back end. So you can assume that, okay, I got the data, my page is slow, my particular component is slow, my data loading is taking t time, that's purely on the front end. So how user, uh, how candidate can, uh, uh, like explain and understand the problem and how he like troubleshoot the problem. Okay, so we are talking about optimization only in the front end side yes. and how is, let's say if he's using React, how he can optimize certain problems in React, mm -hmm. I see. Uh, the last question would be, what kind of things do you expect when you are interviewing a candidate? 
So let's say that he is, he is answering the questions, what else are you expecting in the candidate and what are the plus points for a candidate? So basically plus points, one is communication. Okay, you mean the communication between the interviewer and interviewee or the communication means that he is explaining you what he is doing? So basically communication is not what he is communicating. The way he is explaining his problem, he is uh, explaining the answers. For example, he asks a question, a scenario based question, something like that. So what uh, can did respond to me okay. if he is able to for example i'm a dumb person i don't know uh, for example i ask a question what is redux and how it works i'm a dumb person like how he explained with the basic examples and uh, given given the realistic scenarios and uh, he mentioned like past experience something so if he is able to explain this is one thing he is able to communicate uh, properly what he's thinking so we we differentiate four levels the basic level is like he just an answered the question uh, but I couldn't understand this okay. is one part the second is he answered but somehow I can understand the third one he's answered and I can understand okay this is a third level but if candidate is good in communication he not only the answer the question but he explained properly like uh, what he's thinking and how he's thinking so everything together like uh, give him a good communication skill like he what he thinks properly explain to the interviewer okay what is the communication what are the things uh, apart from the web development how handle the security optimization is a key part uh, how basically in the optimization is not basically optimizing the code it's about troubleshooting uh, for example if a candidate get a problem how he actually troubleshoot it's again somehow related to the communication and somehow like uh, it's part of the uh, solving the problem looking into the problem and the main important thing is like uh, testing how he tests the code for example if i ask the question okay uh, you did this one and uh, you are the developer and how you test this code he mentioned the pos possible scenarios testing scenarios integration uh, scenarios for example one common question i normally ask okay you are working on the project and uh, you are working on one component and that component is depending on other different component of application and after making your change so how you make sure that this is uh, it will not break any of other uh, no, component in the system so this is the main third part like how can it respond to this question I see so we can have communication security optimizations mm -hmm. is there anything else you would like to add in this list I think that's all uh, mostly in one hour we look so we can say that if a candidate is good in communication he has a good grasp of the basic uh, basic concepts of web development he has good grasp of communication or uh, security and uh, optimization he is sure to be passing the platform interview yeah most probably okay one more question what are the red flags for a candidate when you are interviewing someone uh, the things that you see in a candidate and you say that oh, I don't think he's a good for this job well it depends first uh, like uh, in the platform normally it depends on the uh, discussion that we do so how he's communicating and uh, basically in, in the coding part you can see that if he's uh, moving his tabs and doing uh, focusing somewhere like apart from the screen then we can think but platform is uh, like you ask the question and then you uh, see his face uh, one of the red flags that i saw in my career like uh, uh, interviewing with agoda like uh, candidate oftenly switch off the camera so it's a clear red flag if camera uh, is camera is off we stop the interview and it's clearly um, mentioned that okay if you can uh, switch off the camera then, then you are you are it. thinking that maybe he might be cheating or he have no, no, some no, other no. things open up and he is trying to cheat into it okay so we can say that cheating is the biggest red, biggest red flag i see okay um i don't think i have anything else to ask you but if you guys have anything else to ask uh, please mention in the comments below and i will make sure to get it answered thank you so much Hussain, for today's interview have a nice day thank you